David here from Dignited. Today I want to show you how you can remove the shadow effect when you take screenshots on your Mac. Uh, by default, when you take a screenshot on your Mac, you get this shadow effect around screenshots that you take. So you may not really want this effect. All right, now I also want to show you how you can change the default image format from PNG to JPEG. All right, so let's get into it. So since I create a number of tutorials, I take a lot of screenshots. I have learned a number of tricks on how I can make the best of screenshots on my Mac. Let me open Audacity here and then take this entire screen. Use Command Shift 4. The pointer turns into a crosshairs and if you press spacebar, it turns into a camera icon. And when I click on this, right, it takes this specific window so let's just see what we have here exactly so you can see i have a shadow effect around the screenshot here if you can see the window you have a shadow effect there so what if you really don't want to have that shadow effect what do you do i'll show you two ways one is through a number of shortcuts and then the other is through the command line now when you use a combination of these shortcuts that i'm going to show you this is going to uh, be a temporal solution right but when you use the command line that will be a permanent solution so to take a screenshot of a window for example without a shadow using shortcuts again press command shift 4 you can see my pointer is now turning into crosshairs so I'm going to press a uh, space bar it turns into a camera icon and now and this is the trick what you want to do if you don't want to have shadows around your screenshot press the option key on your keyboard the option key is also called the alt key so press the option key and click right exactly now let's open that screenshot i've just taken and uh, just show you and um, yeah you can see I don't have shadows on this screenshot right now. Let's compare it with a previous uh, screenshot, which had a shadow uh, side by side comparison. You can see the first one, the default one that Mac OS is going to create has a shadow effect around the screenshot here. Whereas this one here that I've just showed you using the shortcuts does not have any shadow effects. All right. Now, if you want to make this change to be permanent so that whatever screenshot you take uh, does not have a shadow around like this, then you will have to go to the command line to do that. To issue commands on the terminal on the Mac, we have to open the terminal app. So the way you can do that is either you come to the launch pad here and then just search for terminal, right? It's right here, or you can also use spotlight yes search for terminal it's the same thing right so the command is really long i save the command on notes so i'm just okay you're here right and i'm just going to add uh issue this command here on the terminal don't worry this command is going to be in the description of the video uh, yeah it's pretty pretty long you can see defaults right com dot apple dot screen capture disable the shadow uh, dashboard true now pay attention to this parameter here which says disable shadow dash pull true this is really where the magic is this is where you're telling the computer that uh, disable the shadow should be true if you change your mind and you want the shadow back then you will have to change this parameter from true to false okay so for now uh, we don't want the shadow so i'm just going to leave that as a bull true okay so now let's uh take the screenshot again and see if the effect has uh taken effect so this is my audacity command shift four across here as we have a camera icon then just press okay so i'm just going to minimize this so we have a better view all right yeah right so you can see that once again there is no shadow that means that the effect is now permanent whichever screenshot that we take on our mac is always not going to have a shadow effect around it that is how you make the effect permanent now if you want to have your shadow back again just go back to our 
command you just uh, press the up key to bring back the command we typed in previously and now i'm just going to use the arrow key uh, left to just go back to this parameter here which says true and i'm going to change it to false right so now it says disable shadow uh, dash bool is false meaning that yeah we need our shadow back so just going to press enter and it's executed so let us take the screenshot again of our audacity and see if the shadow is back right so command shift four okay all right I'm just going to minimize this these are my screenshots and it is back awesome so this is uh, back to default setting the shadow is is back again if you want to have that temporal shadow taken out using shortcuts uh, you press command shift 4 uh, you have your crosshairs then space bar to have the camera icon and then you hold the option key right before you click great so if we uh, just looked at that screenshot again it shouldn't have a shadow exactly right so now I want to show you how we can change uh, the default uh, image format from PNG to JPEG. So whatever screenshot that we take, remember the uh, file format is PNG. You can see here it's PNG. Now PNG is okay. The problem is that PNG images sometimes are really huge. So right now uh, this file isn't that big. It's just 97 KBs, but sometimes these screenshots can be like in MBs, right? In megabytes. And that is a problem if you're going to include them on your website. It's going to increase on your website load speeds because one MB is really huge. It takes a very long time to load so you want to have your images as small as possible preferably something below 100 kb so that uh, your website feels really fast so i want to show you how you can change this default png image file format uh, to jpeg for your screenshots on mac os now to do that we are going to have to use the terminal once again and issue command so i'm going to pull out my uh, terminal window here i'm just going to clear this all right and again the command is long so i saved it and i'm just going to copy paste it so uh, don't worry, I'm going to include these commands on the comments below so that you don't have to type them manually. You can as well copy paste them, right? So uh, the command is defaults, right? Com.apple.screencapture type JPEG or uh, JPG and then kill all system UI server. So again, pay attention to this parameter here which says type uh, JPEG or JPG, right? So this is instructing the computer to have our default screenshots saved as uh, JPEGs instead of PNG. So I'm just going to execute the command now. All right, and now I'm going to take a screenshot once again of uh, Audacity and see what file format it saves it in. It should be JPEG now. So let's do that, okay. All right, it's here. So I'm just going to open that, minimize this, open our screenshot. It's right here, come to information here, and you can see that the default uh, image format is now JPEG. So you can also see that uh, we have a dark background here. Yeah, and that is because the transparent areas are going to turn into black for our uh, JPEG file format. If you change your mind and you want PNG to be the default, just go back to the terminal. I'm going to use the up arrow here to bring back the previous command and then use the left arrow key to just uh, get to this parameter here and instead of jpeg i'm just going to change it to png and this is back to default so when i take a screenshot all right shift command 4 space bar take that it should be back to png so let's uh, check it out oh yeah it's back to png as we can see here 
on document type yeah and we don't have black background as we saw with uh, jpeg so this is now back to defaults all right so this has been how to remove the shadow effect on your screenshots and also change the default image format from uh, png to jpeg if you like this video go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to the channel otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one